What are the taken for granted assumptions that underpin our current understanding of paradoxes in organizational life? Let me suggest two. Uh, the first is that we tend to assume that paradoxes need to be managed within the firm. In other words, if it's whether it's efficiency, flexibility, or exploration, exploitation, the assumption is that the firm, with some sort of unitary governance structure, uh, at the top of it, has to make those trade-offs and manage those tensions itself. Why do we have to, to stop at the firm? Many aspects of, 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 of organising economic activity happen across firms. Open innovation is all about making use of, of, of partners beyond the firm boundaries. So I think we should be relaxing that assumption that everything happens within the firm and perhaps we can have some interesting conversations about, about how we manage paradox beyond firm boundaries. The second point I would make is draws inspiration actually from, from the world of international economics. It is said that if you as a country attempt to, to fix your exchange rates and you attempt to manage your own monetary policy, then you have no control over capital controls. Those, so those three elements together essentially have to be managed in a way that you can't completely control all of the pieces. They call it a trilemma. And I think the concept of a dilemma is two, a trilemma is three. The concept that paradox is about essentially reconciling two pieces rather than three or even more is, again, a limiting assumption.